what do y'all this your girl style jack craziness i'm coming to you 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 and you with another word on the street segment make sure you like comment subscribe and share this video baby so yes i am on your cellular device <laughs> yep like ice maker <laughs> you see i'm trying to do a video damn restart <music> Now I'm back. Okay, so uh, what I was gonna say? Damn, I forgot. Shit. What up? Now we're gonna talk about Sheree and this whole I didn't kick Kenya's door. No, you didn't bang, bang, a stomp, stomp on the door like your compadre did, but you did kick that door. Okay, and the producers it showed showed and showed proof that you did kick that door and sure you tend to lie a lot <laughs> or you tend to lie i i said that i did that i i don't recall yeah how convenient you don't recall sus well they showed that clip exhibit a uh-huh talking about you didn't kick no damn though girl you you and who else i think um who was protect in the kicking of the door or just banging on the door or did like a little light beat? You ain't now, Kenya. Open the door, Kenya. No, nobody went as drastic as uh, Marlo did. And like I said in my last video, you know, I'm trying to get, <laughs> trying to be like the Lord up above, you know, just let that slide. But the old me would have had to come on square up. What's good? What's good, Marlo? Because you have the audacity to come to my room, bang on my door like you ain't got no common damn sense the Lord gave you and disturb me for what? For a scene? Oh. Hey, Mom. Mm, 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 mm. Because I'm telling you, it was very lackluster, this episode. Very lackluster. And it, from what I'm seeing, it's been going downhill since we got to this season 15. So while on Twitter, Miss Sheree went and said this right here. Y'all read it with me. LOL, them damn editors, I did not kick or bang on that door. So shady. No, you're so shady and fraudulent. That's what it is. You are. But we're going to move on with that because, like I said, Sheree wasn't really giving us nothing but lies and stuff. So we're going to move on to um, Kenya and uh Mayetta. now Mayetta was in her feelings y'all she was in her feelings about this whole oh can you you left me out here with the wolves yada 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 i had to fend for myself type tease and can was like girl you knew what the hell you were getting into you i had to do it you need to do it too stand up for what's right and then i'm just like okay what what is this really giving because it's really giving this whole episode was just put together they didn't have nothing to um, go on because nobody really has a storyline. So they had to put something together. Blase, blase, blase. But before um, my other had brought this up, Kenya had responded to this tweet right here. Mayetta is a keeper for sure. Sticking up for Kenya behind closed doors and controlling her anger after Marlo pushed that door in her face. That's a classic potential housewife. And Kenya had said this, a great friend, hashtag Real Housewives of Atlanta. But then Mayella had tweeted, were you really upset with me, Kenya? You left me out here with, these cra with this crazy thing and the game. I gave you a heads up, aka I text you, and warned them that Brooklyn may be in the room. Damn, what did you expect me to do, boo? <laughs> so Kenya just politely said, you didn't do anything wrong, but have some class. And I'm like, hold up, what you mean have some class? I think Mangella was the one who had nothing but class amongst the other ladies. Marlo was the one who was acting like a savage. Then you had Sheree on behind her. Then Courtney, and we ain't even gonna talk about Sonya. Sonya, she just in her own world. She dip and come in when she want to. Like when she, <laughs> well, when the king told her, you can go. You are dismissed. You don't have to stay. <laughs> you ain't really cool with me. We ain't ace boom coons like me and Candy or me and Sheree. You know, Candy might have thought. But, yeah, so you can go, boo. 
And here go Sonya. You ain't got to tell me twice. You know, went upstairs, packed the bags, put on the coat. But then she going to come back and get on the phone because she um saw that Monye was still talking to her or what have you. And <laughs> Kenya going to say, who is this? <laughs> so he was like, oh, okay, Kenya, so you don't know my voice. She know your voice, but she didn't want to acknowledge you. So that's why she told you, you can go. Dismiss, peace, deuces. What are you still doing here? You already knew what time it was. And then come to find out, once Kenya, you know, she had the whole hospital thing, you know, um, and stuff like that. Uh, what you call it had said that she was gone already. Marlo couldn't wait to tell the ladies that. I know she couldn't. Yeah, she she was already gone, y'all. She been gone. She got the hell on. <laughs> she was like, okay, I did my part. Y'all wanted me to come with these ladies to something that was supposed to be for me. But I guess I could take them and bring them along. And she got the hell on. She said, bump this and bump y'all. So that's all I got for y'all. And I'll see you on the next Word on the Street.